All right, once again, we're going to talk about the issue of AC versus DC coupling and power measurements on a Jewel Thief. This is my little, a little Jewel Thief test bed. It has a 2N22 transistor, 2N2222 transistor, a blue LED, and a AAA battery. And these are voltage probes across that battery, and that's the voltage on that battery right now, 0.438 volts, 0.439. It's a dead AAA battery. This is a, an inductor out of a television set, uh, and it's wired as the standard, ordinary, normal Jewel Thief circuit with a 1K base resistor in there. Okay, And then this is a 1 ohm current sensing resistor that I can use to monitor the current, but we're not doing it right now. Okay, Now on the oscilloscope, I'm showing two lines here, the A trace and the B trace. This is normally where I keep the traces, but for the purposes of this experiment, I'm going to put the data trace right on the center radical marker there and to, to remind us where it is I'm going to use the unused A channel to draw a line on that center marker right there okay that's by positioning the unused A channel down there now I'm going to move the B channel reference down to that same line to there okay now I'm going to turn the Jewel Thief on. You can see the blue light. Can you hear it? I can hear it. All right. That draws the running voltage down to about 0.43 or less. Okay. And now I'm going to turn the channel on to DC coupled. Okay. Notice there that the trace is all above that reference line that we made with the A channel trace. Okay, look at it again. There it's off. All of that is above. Now we're looking at that at one volt per division, so we've got one, two, two and a half, almost three volts coming out of that Jewel Thief with a supply of 0.41 volts. Okay. Now, watch what happens if I switch to AC coupling ground. Baseline is still in the same place. AC coupling. See what happened? A major portion of the signal dropped down below the zero reference line. That's because AC coupling has the effect of taking any oscillating signal and moving it down so that its average is on the zero reference line. What does that do to your voltage, to your correct voltage readings? It destroys them. You no longer have an accurate indication of what your absolute voltages are. Right. If I turn this up to a little bit more magnification, you can see now that this trace here that I'm displaying looks very much like the trace that Lawrence displayed on his output power voltage versus time graph just now. AC coupled. The Joule Thief output actually never goes below the zero reference. It's always a positive fluctuating output. By taking your scope and putting it on AC coupling, you are falsely moving that trace down and falsely giving yourself an indication of voltages that go below zero. That's not the case. This is what the true voltage looks like. DC coupled, it goes from just above zero to that three volt peak and then back down. It never reverses. Okay, and this is a standard ordinary jewel thief. Every other jewel thief that you'll build does the same thing unless there's something weird and special about it. And the only way I'm going to be able to know is if you keep your scope on DC coupled and then it's still, it, then if it shows a drop below zero, that's real. But if it does it just because you're on AC coupled, that's not real. Thank you for watching.